Commentator's Curse got me again. And Shaman is looking at me sword fighter? I guess I say that can't be right. That can't be right. Ness. Alright, going into Ness for game one of a winner's final Shaman versus ZD. Three, two, one, oh, that's go. always the most annoying thing to me. When the the players like when the when the player one spawns in on the right instead of the left. I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. It's like, come on, you're supposed to be on the left and right sides of the screen. Oh, ZD already getting quite a bit of damage. Wolf can really exploit these floaties at disadvantage like that. I mean, there's not a lot they can do, especially when you've got a double jump like Ness's that doesn't really activate right away. So it can't really help you for movement all that much to get out of a combo if they're sending you straight up. And we're seeing the uh, results of that already, 106%. Jamin has the ledge now, though, and is equalizing things rapidly. The yo-yo not quite in position there. That might have been the stock even had that been in the right spot, but you do also have to worry about that Wolf Flash. You set up at the wrong angle, and that Wolf Flash could not only get past that yo-yo, but also just end your stock right on the spot. I mean, that thing does a, quite a bit of damage on that sweet spot. Shaman definitely playing this neutral, very careful, but ZD just throwing the raw F smash out there, but you know, when you're playing Wolf, you can do that. You got the frame data for that, that's fine. Doesn't get the stock, just like, check out a back hour afterwards. You're good, you got it. Oh no, this offstage looking really bad. Oh, the tail of the PK Thunder actually stopped ZD's spike there, and that resulted in a stock trade at the end of the day. I mean, it still works out pretty well for ZD, given that ZD's, he's already a stock up. So you're, you're pretty okay with a stock trade at that point, given the percentages, too. That uh, puts you in a really good spot for the rest of this the rest of this game here, especially now that you got this ledge as well. I mean, there's a... Uh, only so much that Shaman can do here. Oh no, back on the stage though. Finally these combos, trying to extend it as well. I mean, you need every bit of extension you can get at this point. You need all the value you can find, but not gonna uh, quite find that extension here. He's got, oh, a little too early on the forward air. I think he's like such a truck, that back air is so powerful. Trying to get out there with the Nair to just keep uh, Shaman out there, does get up into the yo-yo. Stocks are even. Shaman, though, at 124, I mean, they really, uh, especially after that dash attack as well, cannot get hit again by just about anything. Okay. Oh, ZD so far out there. Did not get combo with a down throw. But Shaman does have the ledge, and that could be a problem for ZD here. Be able to narrowly get out, retaliating with the forward air as well. ZD just playing that pressure out well. Holding in shield when you need to hold in shield and just waiting for that opportunity. PK Thunder is really ignorant though. It's just not. <laughs> Every time ZD tries to recover, he gets bounced off the side of the stage instead. Finally, one good up air will catch Shaman in that float. And uh, that's going to be game one going to ZD. But I mean, Shaman making it look pretty even. I mean, making this set look pretty doable so far. Uh, the, the disadvantage state is absolutely a nightmare. But there's enough there. There's enough there that, that Shaman's, uh, you know, I, I think it definitely fire back here. We'll have to see how game two goes. This will be uh, Shaman's stage pick as well. We may also see another character as well. We see Shaman's play Snake and Bayonetta tonight. Wait, what was that? Oh, and now Cloud this is the fourth character we've seen from Shaman in this bracket. Okay. Going for the cloud here for game two. Let's see if this uh, changes things up. I mean, the there's certainly benefits to having a very large sword against Fox. And your recovery is, is cloud is a little linear, but Fox doesn't really uh, have great ways to exploit it, to my knowledge. So I can see it. I get it. You also really abuse that fastball because your up air uh, is... <laughs> Your up air just does, uh, does not respect fastball characters whatsoever. Ooh, just barely back past that reflector as well. I mean, these, I feel like half of this damage, the stock that's been racked up, has been from up air. But if it's working, like why change it? The dash attack catching the illusion as well. Shaman uh, with that first stock once again and the limit climate hazard, shutting down ZD's edge guard attempt as well, while also getting back to stage. I mean, that's efficiency. You may not have gotten a whole lot of uh, percentage or damage or a stock off that limit, but it got you back and it kept you from losing one. Sometimes, man, that's all you need. Damon's really going off. She's just finding every neutral interaction here. ZD, for the first time that we've seen tonight, is the one having to respond and being on the back foot from this pressure instead of being the one throwing it out there himself. This is 
Definitely flipping the script a little bit. That down air from Shaman, though, a little optimistic. Just not quite enough sword getting to that platform. <laughs> ZD's got that up smash punish to take the stock. Oh, up B out of shield. Yeah, there you go. Even the drill. Even with the drill, as, as nice as that is on shield, uh, crumbles before the cloud up B out of shield. Pressure looking really good, but ZD calling the dash back that time and is laying in with the pressure here. Oh, it does miss the neutral get up though. That up smash twice now we've seen has caught on the back end to catch one of ZD's options and just kept that disadvantage state going. We did see Limit though get blown and not connect, which means we're not going to see a cross slash for a while, but I honestly. At 144 on Cloud, do you need Cross Slash anymore? Ooh, wow! Speaking of 144 on Fox, uh, up smash with Rage, <laughs> and uh, it kills. It does work. Oh, wow. ZD's heal just got whittled down piece by piece. Shaman hitting just blow after blow on that thing. There was nothing left. Had to pick an option, and Shaman just picked the right option to respond there. That up smash again, like it blocked off so much space. There wasn't a lot of space that ZD could have possibly retreated to uh, or, or maneuvered into to find a, an attack, but that up smash wasn't going to cover, so very good option there. 103 of though already racked up on Shaman. This is looking a little grim. The platform going to interrupt the up out of shield as well. This could be it. One more time. It's getting, these uppies are getting Shaman out of that bad spot. Oh no, the up smash out of the soft nair again, ZD. Finding that stock one more time to and take game two. But that cloud, yeah, I mean, the cloud was working out for a while there. You saw that last stock, too. If it was anywhere but Battlefield or anywhere but inside of those platforms, inside of that middle platform, there might have been a chance for Shaman to get back into that driver's seat on that last stock and turn that set the other direction. But that top platform just kept stopping the the descent. How's it going? Trying to come in? Yeah, yeah, come, come on in. Go ahead and grab that uh, set of headphones there. We'll get you set right up. Three, two, Doing all right? Go. All right, and uh, for the stream here, if you could just uh, let us know your tag pronouns. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, cool. Go. So yes, we got ZD Shaman for game three here. Yeah, yeah, all the good stuff. Headphones, we got the... Uh, Monitor, got my lovely production assistant back here. Been doing this all the time. Yeah, pretty much every Wonderfly, except for uh, last week. Oh, ZD's already going off though, do you see this? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this first stock looking pretty tough. ZD, just look at this weight. Shame is I don't this guy. Just, uh... Six full seconds of waiting on Ledge. Yeah, Shaman, she's been uh, she's a Ness player who's been uh, doing pretty well down here recently. Oh, the stage tech was there, but I don't think you can... Never mind, I don't know Fox's recovery. What am I talking about? You hit that tech, you said. I think I'm just used to uh, melee. Oh, wait, hit the tech there. We're not surviving this time. This might just be it. It's just one... Like, it's not, it's not finishing. It's just gone. Another one, another one, another one. <laughs> this is so mean. This has to be frustrating, but what other options do you have? What else do you do? <laughs> okay, but low key, think about it. If you're gonna play, you could play for the timer in the long run, right? You let this happen, you snap the stock back right afterwards. And then you just play for timer because you're burning a solid like you can okay, burn so a solid six minutes this way. That's doing like five percent each time. <laughs> you can burn at least three minutes. Uh, oh no, there it went. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there was like a sweet spot timer. Am I gonna see that on some compilation? <laughs> we might, honestly. Okay. I might have to clip that just for my own Twitter. That was just. <laughs> But you know, there's there's probably yep. a sweet spot timing there. Oh, that was nice. really nice. Yeah, like Shaman might have been able to find that kill sooner, but why risk the sweet spot timing when you take the consistent thing over and over again? You know. I feel like did she know that if she turned around, she'd kill? I don't know. Good question. Hmm. I didn't know that. It was news to me. Yeah. Uh, 
If she did, why would she keep doing that? The back ledge. To, to send a message. I guess. Oh no, not again. Not again. Am I receiving Please another no. message? Ooh, okay. Very nice. I still got one more hit off of it though on the way out. <laughs> yeah, it was a different hitbox this time. I was gonna say, I don't think I could have taken another minute of that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, what do you- oh no. You roll up. No. Yeah, can- do you get a free roll out of that? Does that hit fast enough? Uh, I thought it did, but don't trust me, I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I would've been mashing. I'd have been like, oh god, let me out, <laughs> let me get out. Yep. The up air, that's gonna do it. Still the 103, I mean, with Fox being as light as Fox is, there's, there's a lot that could go wrong. That's one back throw away, but here comes the blender. Yeah. That's the second person today that's called it the blender. Like, that's what it's called. Okay, alright, I'm behind the loop. Or out of the loop, one of those. Oh. I think it's a good name. I like it. Ooh. I thought the landing there with the up smash, just kind of chucked it out. NCD. Need a Hail Mary here. Biggest yeah. combo starter. And if there's if there's anything that ZD definitely has a habit of, and it's probably a Fox thing, honestly, is just kind of short hopping a lot in the... Oh, uh, no, that was just a little bit too optimistic. There just wasn't enough time there. But, you know, I've seen, like, ZD likes to, like, short hop around in your shield to find those threats, which is good. If you get somebody afraid, and you, you, you can keep that pressure on.